We decided to make this video about recognizing respiratory distress and failure in bunnies to help owners recognize the early signs. Too often we see rabbits open mouth breathing and it's too late to help them. Rabbits are obligate nose breathers, which means that they have to breathe through their nose. It's essential that owners notice the small subtle changes that a rabbit in respiratory distress will undergo before they begin open mouth breathing. Once they open their mouth to breathe, they, they are at the very end of respiratory failure. Causes for respiratory distress are thymoma, which is most common, and congestive heart failure, which is less common. There are also other causes such as lung abscesses and blunt force trauma. Since rabbits live most of their lives on the floor, their noses are not at eye level, so owners really have to get down and look at what their rabbit's nose is doing. There are a few signs that will tell you a rabbit is in respiratory distress or failure. We're going to show some examples of each, and if you have a bonded pair, you can look at the bunny that's normal and compare it to the one you're thinking is having breathing issues. The following videos are of bunnies in normal respiratory patterns. As you can see, their noses are very, move very slowly. This bunny here is at rest, sleeping, and so the nose is barely moving and you can barely see his chest rising. Here's another one. Again, she's taking a nap and you can see how quiet her nose is. Here's another view of this bunny and you can see how restful and calm her breathing is. When she starts moving around a little bit, you see the nose twitching more. Now this baby is completely at rest. You can barely see his sides going up and down and his nose is almost not moving and he's having a good nap. And on this bunny, you can see how calmly his chest is falling and rising. And because of his coloring, we can't see his nose moving. But if, they, if you can see the sides breathing up and down, going up and down, you can be rest assured he's breathing. The following examples are of bunnies in a progressive mode of respiratory distress. As you can see in this picture, the effort to breathe is far more pronounced. This is what is called a nasal flare. She's trying to get oxygen in through the nose and it's becoming very difficult and her whole body is moving and you can see that the, that the chest, there's a lot of respiratory effort. Everything's moving back and forth. Here's another picture. It's not as obvious as the first one, but there is a definite nasal flare. This young rabbit was presented for observation and the owner had not noticed that she was having such a hard time breathing, but you can see how hard her body's moving to breathe and her nose is absolutely flaring open to try and get more air. And this is basically the same kind of effort that is put into breathing. As you can see, her partner in the back, who's taking a nap, is barely moving his nose and you can barely see him moving at all. And this is a little bit uh, more of a progression. This bunny was starting to almost open mouth breathe. You can see the abdomen moving back and forth. And what owners don't notice is that with this kind of breathing, many times these bunnies are eating. And so they don't realize that breathing is such an issue because in between the breaths, she's happily eating her parsley and kale. But you can absolutely see that it's a struggle for her to eat. Again, here's the view of her abdomen and all the effort it's taking for her to breathe. And this breathing is a flared nose, but it's a much slower kind of breathing. But her nose is definitely flared and her mouth is about to open up. If you look at that bottom lip, this bunny is almost, and if you were at face level, you would be able to see that the mouth is almost opening to breathe. So having a rough time breathing at this point, and doesn't want to lay down, is starting to sit up because they're uncomfortable laying down. 
And this bunny, unfortunately, was almost at the end. This was recorded the morning that she was brought in to be euthanized. The owners had left her and she was breathing a little bit better than this and they came back from church and she was open mouth breathing. And this is her in the car coming to the office to be euthanized. The ride being put in the car is an extremely stressful event and we always tell owners that if they have a rabbit that is that critically ill, the car ride could definitely push them over the edge. One of the ways that you will notice subtle changes in your bunny is when they're healthy, videotape them. You can take little short videos and see how they are at rest, see how they behave. And then when you think that they're not doing so well, you could go back and look and see how they were a month ago, two months ago, and see if you notice any differences.